Those were a few before and after photographs of my kitchen up in Vermont. A couple of years ago, I bought this old house that needed really a ton of work, and the first thing I did was renovate the kitchen. I built a couple of the cabinets, but for the most part, I just painted the cabinets that were already there. And uh, maybe a week or two ago, I mentioned that I was painting my kitchen here in New Jersey, and I've gotten a lot of emails asking me exactly uh, what I was using to paint the cabinets and how I was doing it. So it turns out that I forgot to bring this little drawer front out to the barn. So this is a good opportunity to show you exactly how I'm painting the cabinets step by step. The very first thing you want to do is remove all of the drawer fronts and the doors and be sure to label them so when you go to put the kitchen back together, you'll know where everything goes. And then I'll remove all of the drawer pulls and hinges and I like to keep all the hardware in a bucket so I don't lose it during the job. Now for the next step, you really have to commit yourself because you're going to do all of your doors and all of your drawer fronts at the same time and you're going to be wearing a mask and some good gloves and basically what you want to do is pour some paint thinner in a bowl or some kind of a bucket and then rub all of those surfaces down with coarse steel wool. The reason why you're doing that is you want to remove any kitchen grease that might be on the cabinets. Well now that I've got the drawer front prepped, I'll bring it upstairs along with all the other doors and drawer fronts and give it its first coat of primer. I'm in the upstairs of the barn and I'm showing you this shot to give you an idea of how you might want to lay out your work area before you start. The first coat of primer is the shellac based bin primer and I like this because it's got a really good adhesion quality. And a quick tip for when you're using this product, uh, it's really difficult to wash the brushes and in fact I never do. I generally put maybe an inch of denatured alcohol into a can like this, a plastic can, and that will keep the brushes from drying out for months. Uh, this roller I used a few weeks ago, and this brush, I think I've been using the same brush for over six months. You just need to have a lid for the bucket. The shellac based bin primer dries really fast, so you'll be able to get a second coat of primer in about an hour and a half to two hours. And for that, I'm using an acrylic primer. It's Fresh Start by Benjamin Moore. And this is a high hiding primer. And that's a good thing to use, especially if you're going over a dark color like I was with the red. After I put a coat of paint on the doors, I'll lay them out on these 2x4s that I've wrapped in plastic wrap. And the plastic wrap keeps the doors from sticking to the 2x4s and also prevents any stain from the 2x4 getting into the finished paint. I've put that drawer front to the side and I'll let it dry for a day or two. But in the meantime, I can move on to the finished coat for the door and drawer fronts that I primed a few days ago. I'm using an Alkalid High Gloss Enamel by Benjamin Moore. This is an oil paint and uh, some people will say that the new water-based paints are just as strong as the oil-based paints. I really don't agree and most of my friends who are in the painting business uh, don't agree either. It's a good idea to use a paint strainer and that'll keep any foreign particles out of the paint. And also, I like to use a little Penetrol in the paint and that just helps the paint lay down a little bit nicer and you don't get as many brush marks. I'll apply the paint using a foam roller and then I like to go back over the surface painting in the direction of the grain. Well, I'm just about ready to start painting and basically once you start, at least for me, I like to finish and get it over with. Now, uh, I want to tell you exactly what I did with the doors. I've got two coats of primer on the backs and the fronts of the doors the alcohol or the shellac based bin primer and then the fresh start and I've already got a coat of finish on the backs of the doors and the backs of the doors are done I just give them one coat of finish the front of the doors I like to give them two coats of finish uh, this has now got two coats of primer so I'll put a coat of finish lightly sand it then give it one more coat of finish paint and then it's done uh, I hope you I hope I answered most of your questions uh, also I'll put a slideshow up of the kitchen redo that I did a few years ago in Vermont. It's kind of a, a cool job. It was, 
It was a little overwhelming, but I'm really happy with the way it came out. Uh, thanks for tuning in. I'll see you next time.